Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Wednesday. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. All right, everybody. Dun, dun, dun. So today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. It's return to Space Day. Now, I can't tell you how excited I am about this. If you have a grandparent, somebody who was around in 1969, they could probably tell you everything that they remember about when astronauts landed on the moon. If you know someone who was around in the early 1980s, they probably remember watching the first space shuttle flight. I remember watching that. I was in elementary school. It was very exciting. Nine years ago was the last space shuttle mission. And the space shuttle was around for about 30 years. I read about this online today. In 1981, when the first space shuttle took off, for good luck, the astronauts brought with them an American flag. When the last space shuttle took off in 2011, they brought the same American flag that was on the first space shuttle, and they brought it to the International Space Station for good luck. And they knew that it was going to be a while, probably many years, before another American spacecraft was going to go to the International Space Station. So they left that American flag on the space station nine years ago. And they said it's going to be sort of like a game, like capture the flag. Who can be the first person to build a rocket and get up to the space station and find that flag? Hopefully, today, we've got two astronauts, Bob Benkham and Doug Hurley, who are going to do it. It's going to be on TV. You might want to take a look at it. It's going to be later this afternoon, as long as the weather holds. It should be very exciting. You'll want to remember this. All right, return to space day. It's also some birthdays. This is really cool. This is Jeremiah D's birthday, and it's also Jeremiah Q's birthday. How cool is that? And they're the exact same age. They were born on the exact same day, and they're both Jeremiah's. Happy birthday, Jeremiah D, and happy birthday, Jeremiah Q. It's also Mary Glennon's birthday. Mary Glennon, happy birthday to you. She's my sister-in-law. She lives down in North Carolina. Happy birthday to you, Mary. And we got to do a shout out here for Logan L. Logan did an amazing job with the roller coaster challenge. I hope you all got a chance to see it. If you haven't, go to the PTO Facebook page. He did an amazing video that's on the PTO Facebook page, which not only shows his really cool roller coaster, but he really talks about the design process. I think he said something like, you know, science, sometimes you end up failing and you learn from your mistakes and then you get better. So that was really insightful. Way to go, Logan. I know that the engineers who were building the spaceship that's going up to the International Space Station, they would agree with Logan. They've actually fired many rockets before and some of them blew up. So then they would fix it, and they would try and learn from their mistakes. Logan did the same thing. Maybe one day, Logan's going to help build a rocket that's going to go to Mars. Maybe one day, one of our Hoover Hawks out there is going to be the first man or the first woman to land on Mars. Really cool. I'm excited about that. All right, we want to have some fun in Canvas today. And I want to give you a little preview of the week of some of the cool things that you're going to see in your science lessons. So in kindergarten, you're going to be studying wood, paper, and fabric. My goodness, that's really exciting. Wood, paper, and fabric. You're going to learn about these different materials. And you're going to meet, are you ready for this? Two superheroes. You're going to meet Zoomy Zoom, 
and Sunny Zoom. They are amazing. Probably my two new favorite superheroes. You got to check out their video. In first grade, you're going to be learning about the wind. Really cool. And I think at some point, you might even meet a real live reporter who's from this area, from Bucks County, and is now working as a reporter, I think, somewhere out in the Harrisburg area. That is really cool. Take a look at that. In second grade, we got to get everybody ready to work for NASA. They're going to be working as engineers, second week in a row. I think they're going to be looking at how different animals are engineers, how different animals build nests and things like that, how hummingbirds and um, how bees build structures. Really cool. Maybe we can learn something from the animal world. Continuing with our animal theme, we're going to be learning a lot about animal structures in third grade. A lot of great videos there. I think you'll actually go on a virtual field trip and see some animals across the world. Really cool. And then in fourth grade, we're going to be learning a little bit about force and motion. Think about all the force it requires for a rocket to take off. And we'll have the return of the science girls, science girls. I think we'll meet sporty science girl, who's going to teach us a little bit about, there's a lot of science and force and motion involved in soccer. Can you believe that? I did not know that. Take a look at that fourth grade. Also, like I said, take a break from Canvas somewhere around, I think it's around 427, something like that, and tune in your TV and watch America's Return to Space. Should be a lot of fun. We know that Bob Benkham and Doug Hurley are going to do a great job. We wish them well and Godspeed. They are honorary Hoover Hawks for today and forever because they are very brave. We appreciate that. And in their honor, I thought we should play this. Have a great day in Canvas. Have fun.